Hi folks, welcome back to more PGA Tour 2K21. Now, not only do we have the Dream Team competition running, but we also have the Rookie Design Contest running as well. And this is one of the courses from the Rookie Design Contest. And it is by Brave Caleb. And it is Rosa, Ragosa, Dunes and Mine. Now, there is two versions out of this, but uh, let's have a look at the settings. Okay, feathers are firm, greens are soft, uh, green speeds medium fast, time of day is afternoon, and the weather is overcast. We're going to go off the gold tees at 7,065 yards. And let's get into it. Now, as I said, there's two versions. When he releases a course, he does a, a midday version and he does a dawn version. Sometimes when you do the dawn version, once it's uploaded to YouTube, they do come across a little bit dark. So I am going to go with the midday version. As you can see, it is overcast. Now, if he's got his dawn version overcast, it probably would be a little bit dark, I would imagine. I like the little hints of color on that that he's got going through there as well. All right, what he says here, the Rosa Ragosa Dunes and Mine Club welcomes you. This course sits on the northeastern rocky shore of Russia's White Sea. Rosa Ragusa is an Asian rose that is native to this region. It grows on sandy, rocky terrain, such as dunes, and is pink in colour. Ah, so that's what they are. Pink in colour, you will spot them dotted around the sandy bunkers. The course is situated on top of a retired salt mine. A few tea shots are sitting down in an old entrance to the mine to create a unique look off the tea. Those holes are numbers 5, 7 and 8 respectively. Hole 10 has a preserved entrance to the mine that sits under the green and serves as a tunnel leading under the road to the 11th tee. The tunnels are all connected and end up in the lower floor of the clubhouse. This project was time consuming and yet fun. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Okay, it's looking nice. I quite like the colours. Okay, you've got a couple of little houses over there. You've got some nice planting. Bunkers look pretty nicely done as well. Waste bunkers. Let's have a look, see if we see these mine entrances. Okay. So where did we start off with? Was it here we started off? Oh, can't even remember where the first tee was now. This looks like a clubhouse. Can't see me. Yep, and there's a, like a, I think that's a little practice green now. Ah, there's an entrance to the mine there. You've got the Russian colours there as well. So you've got a little mine entrance there. Nice looking clubhouse. Yeah, it looks pretty nice that. As I said, the colours um, seem to stand out really well. With little bits of pink just dotted through. Okay, you've got another sort of Russian colour thing over here. Well, it's just a fence we're hitting off the tee. Ah, you can see the sun's coming out now. Really brightens the course up. Do you like the, again, the waste bunker work that he's got on the sides of the hills there. And you've got another little entrance to the mine there, it looks like as well. Really does make a difference when you've got a certain different lighting. I mean, with the dawn lighting, even though it does come off a little bit dark on YouTube sometimes, it really does add a, a, a bit more atmosphere to the courses when you're playing them. And you've got a little, like a little, little hamlet, a little community of houses just there. You've got a lighthouse. Yeah, looks nice. I like I said, I do like the little bits of planting that he's got everywhere. It just seems to stand out more with the sort of colours that he's got going on. Looks like we're going to have some elevation changes through the course as well. Ooh, what's this here? Oh, that's pretty cool. A bit bloody cold though, isn't it, in Russia? To have like a pool? <laughs> What's that? One, two, three, four different levels. Yeah, that's nice. There you go. You've got, get, got the ivy growing up the side of the house as well. First time I've ever seen that was Arctic Fury did that. He's got a new course due out soon, I should imagine. Posted, I think it was last week or something on Twitter. He's got a new course coming. 
So you keep a look out for that as well. But with the rookie design competition, you do get some really nice designers coming through, some really nice courses. I mean, if I took up designing, I'd consider myself a rookie, but not on this sort of level. I couldn't do something like this as a rookie. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to jump on at the first tee and we'll get it started. Let's have a look at the plot first, shall we? Okay, very nice. And as you can see, you've got the old rocks all over there. That'll be the, the, ins the, the outside of the mine. There's another sort of entrance into the down into the, the sort of valley there. Where's this road go? And there as well. Oh no, it's like a just comes through here. Look, just drive through there in your car. Okay, let's get on to the first heat. We should get it started. Got a bit of wind against us. Okay, six mile an hour. I think. Oh, we. I think we could make that if we hit hit a nice one. Come on, get over there. This must be a. I don't even look. It's a par five. Oh, we just made it. Yeah, it's definitely a par five uphill for the second shot. Okay, two twelve fifty up. So that is plain. Ooh, what's that? About two twenty-nine. I make that two thirty. But then you've got the wind as well. Five wood, two forty-eight might be too much. I don't know if the five wood will do it with that wind there though. So I think if we go with the three wood. We're going to be over the back of the green if we get up there. Put a bit of loft on it, that should sort of slow it down a bit. Slightly into the grey fast. Yeah, as I said, should be up probably the back of the green, but it's just going to hit the fringe. That leaves a little chip. That should do. We should pick up the birdie there. Great view off the green there. Look at that. Lovely. Not a bad start, minus one. Right, what we have here, second hole, par three, 235, 34 down, so that's playing 224, 224 hybrid, 199, 220. I could put a lot of loft on that, I suppose. Maybe bring it in a little bit from, from the right. That should take a bit of off it as well. Oh, again, slight fast. Oh, it took quite a bit off it actually, more than I thought. That is going to be a tough putt. We've got kind of a, a ridge on the left hand side here to go over by the looks of it. So it's going to be uphill and a big swing left to right by the looks of it, I think. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Okay, we've got 61 feet and one foot up. Should aim it just over there. Just get it close. Oh, bloody hell, look at that swing. Oh my goodness. That's got to be the worst swing I've had in a very, very long time. Okay, par. Okay, third hole, par four, 476, 16 up. Yeah, we should be able to just make it over there. Oh, slight slow. It's going to push over to the right. That might, come on, kick left, kick left. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, we just missed it. Big slope, right to left here. Okay, 193, 19 up, so it's playing around about 199. Got a little bit of wind there as well. Right. That's going to swing quite a bit over to the left here. Oh, crap, we hit slow. And it's just in the thick stuff there. So again, going to have a little chip here. Oh, 
That'll do nicely. I just bumped up a club deck, so it was, I think it was 71 to 76 percent. Oh my god, my pattern stroke, and you saw that out. I need to start looking at my controller again. I was kind of ho holding it, squint there. Right, what have we got here? Fourth hole, it's a par 5, 5, 18, 29 up. Uh, we've got 6 mile an hour wind coming in. I'd rather be over this side, gives us a better angle in the green. The same about there. Oh yes, boom. Lovely tee shot. And again, really nice view off the tee there. Oh, I just made that. It just sort of clipped that side hill. Okay, 214, 48 up. Let's play about 230. 230 with the five would bring back just a touch. Oh crap, massive slow. That would have been quite nice as well, I think. So that's going to leave just a probably a little pitch, I reckon. Yep, too far for a chip. Okay. Lovely. Oh, look at that. So close. So we'll just tappy tap for a birdie. Now what does that put us on? Minus two? Yep. Again, really nice framing in the, the hole here. The trees either side. You, you can just see central all the way down to the green here. Very nicely done. Right, 217, 18 up. So that is playing 303. What am I saying? Two, <laughs> 223, should I say. Right, so let's bring that back and bring that back. Let's see if we can hit a nice one here. Come on. Oh, we do. We do. Hopefully, I put enough loft on it. it doesn't go too far. Ah, oh, lovely. That'll do fine. Okay. Tough little putt, though. Just got it. Nice. And the sun has come out as well. Okay, another massive elevation change here. So what have we got? Par 4, 542, 85 down. Now can we clear this bunker? I reckon we can. If we hit a nice one. Come on, let's go. Oh, yes. Lovely. 102% as well. We do have six mile an hour wind, so it's going to push it a little bit to the right. Oh, we just cleared it. Okay, nice drive, 350. That's something I never do as well, is go into here. You can actually see exactly. I mean, I could have placed that there and seen exactly from the tee how far I had to hit. Now, if I'd seen 350, I probably would have aimed it over here a little bit more. It's just something that I hardly ever use. Right, what have we got? 196, 12 down, so it's playing 192. 190. 180 should do, I reckon. Especially with that wind as well. Oh, slight fast. Come on, wind, push it in for me. Could be left of the pin. Ooh, a little bit short. We're still on that for the birdie. All right, just make sure to watch what we're doing with my putt and stroke here. There we go, that's better. Ooh. Oh, 
we'll take the paw. Ooh, that's another nice looking hole. Right, what have we got here? That tree is kind of stopping us from going over there. We kind of want to go this way anyway. Oh, it's par five. A little bit of a dog leg to the right. Oh, slow. That's pushing it over to the right. That's going to end up in that thick stuff. Not a good shot. All right, I'm trying to aim it down here. That should be okay. That'll do fine. That leaves a little pitch up, I think. Ooh, might be a bit far for a pitch. We'll see. Nope, AI on pitch. Um, I think we'll go with an iron iron. Okay, lovely, it's perfect. Ooh, a little bit too much angle of attack on that, stopped it pretty quick. Turning, come on, come on, come on, yes, nice. Okay, minus four. Okay, another bit of an elevation change uphill this time. Again, his holes have got a really nice frame and just sort of makes you look straight down the centre. You've got that little sort of um, aiming post there as well, you see it? Right there. Okay, drive up. Ooh, 67 up. With that bit of wind against us, 9 mile an hour, that should be okay with the driver, I think. Okay, boom, pating, lovely sound that. Yep, that'll do lovely. Again, really nice waste bunker work that he's got going around the course here. A little bit of right to left. Okay, 141.23 up, that is playing around about 149. 152, got a little bit of wind just coming off the right hand side here. Oh, slight fast, so it's going to push it well over to the left. Pin high though, well, well, almost. Just set us up for another nice birdie putt though. And we get it. Okay, five under on the front nine so far. Ninth hole, par three. Nice short little par three of these. These are the ones I like. Oh, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. As I keep saying when I do them kind of shots, I think it's my old age kicking and it's like a delayed reaction I have on my thumb. <laughs> hey, I am 52 years old. Ah, that'll do. Okay, pick up the par there. So, minus five after the front nine. That's not a bad start leading to the turn. And there's the, the other mine entrance there. As you can see. Okay, what we got here? 147, it's only two feet up. 130, 152, so let's bring that back just a touch. Oh, slightly into the grey faster, but it should be okay. That sets us up for another birdie putt. It's missed. Nope. Oh, I thought that was going to miss on the right hand side. I'll have to take a screenshot as well. I haven't took a screenshot yet for the thumbnail. Okay, par 5, 498, 66 up. Now, I think the elevation might come into play here. So I'm going to try and just miss that bunker. Oh, 
Oh, not for you to fast, though. Oh, it's cleared the bunker. That's good. That'll do it. <laughs> Again, I could have looked at the yardage book and just seen where that bunker sort of came into play there. Right, four iron, 207, 20 up. So it's playing around about 217, 220, 99. So I think I'm going to go with the four hybrid here. Okay, come on, get up there. Oh, that'll do. That'll do lovely. That puts us on there for, I think, was this a par five? I think it was. Oh, eagle putt, come on. Oh, no, we missed it. If there was one putt, I should have took my time a little bit more on. It was probably that one. Oh, you shitting me. On for two, and we end up with a par. Well, my pet. That's all down to me. Screwing my putts up. Right. 194, 38 down. That is playing around about 180, 179. 170. The seven iron. Let's put that down there. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll get on there near enough. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, slight fast. Come on, kick off there. Kick off there. Oh, you son of a. Didn't kick off there. <laughs> so we'll aim over here. So it looks like we're putting for the par. Okay, get the par, nice. Okay, a few wayward shots so far. Nothing too drastic there. Right, do not hit a fast here. Oh, so we hit a bloody slow. Stay away from the bunker. That should be okay. Only well, 299 though. It's going to leave us a little pitch shot in there. 113, so it's playing 115. Yeah, let's go up. There we go. <gasps> oh, what am I doing with my bloody swing? Keep holding the control at weird angles for some reason. Don't know why. Right. Didn't turn. I usually pull my putts a little bit to the right. Pulling them to pushing them to, out to the left this time. No, I'm pulling them to the left instead of pushing them to the right. Okay, par five, 14th, 579. Should be able to just miss that tree there. The wind as well should help. Ah, slow again. Oh, that's going to kick into that heavy. Yep. Damn it. Hopefully we can get up there and get on for a, a birdie though. So we'll just smack the hybrid out here. Oh, kick off there. Kick. Nope, it's going to stay there. Oh, crap. Okay, 68, 75%. So we're going to have to... Three clubs. Tell you what. I'm actually going to go with a normal shot. Let's bring that right back again. Let's go there. Try that. A 
that'll do. Nice little backstop there. It's going to come back down. Okay, pattern for the birdie. Come on. Have we got a birdie on the front nine yet? Back nine? Don't think so. Oh shit, my pun. My pun stroke's terrible. I haven't played live for a long time. It's better. That should have been a birdie. <laughs> hey, oh dear. Right, oh, this is a nice looking hole. Green's kind of up on a, like a little plateau here. Ooh, it's drivable, par 4, 34 up. Tell you what, let's actually bring this in on the left a bit, I think. Oh, done it again. That's not too bad, though. I don't know if I want to go with a chip here. I might just go with a little splash or a little let's see where the splash takes us yeah I think we'll go with a splash shot here it's either a splash shot or a little flop maybe a little flop shot let's bring that back to about there oh ooh. Oh, Christ, that went past quite a bit. Splash shot might be better, but I prefer playing splash shots just out of bunkers, though. Okay. I'm doing that again. Pushing it out to the right for some reason. There we go, it's a bit better. Okay, 16th hole, another nice little par 3 here. Okay, 101, 11 down. Dan is playing around about 96 ish. No, what am I saying? Yeah, yeah, about that, about 96. So let's bring that back just a touch. I start off pretty well and then my, my tempo just goes to absolute garbage. <laughs> but I don't really fancy chipping out there. It looks a little bit high. But what I could do is bump it up a couple and put quite a bit of loft on it. Just to get that extra bit of height. And that didn't work out very well, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're probably going to be picking up a bogey here, unless I get lucky with this. Are we? Are we? Are we? Oh, you son of a... Oh, so close. Now, if I didn't hit faster, that would have dropped, I reckon. Damn. We're doing so well. What's my scoreboard? I was, I was minus five after the front nine. Back nine's terrible. I don't know what it is. My, my tempo just seems to go crap after nine holes. Maybe I should play nine hole increments. Ah, oh, there we go. Lovely. Pitting. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get a couple of birdies before we finish. Okay, right, 192, eight ups, playing around about 198. Now with a five iron, I always hit 100, 102%. So we should be good. 101%. Should get a little bit of run on it as well. That should be absolutely spot on. Lovely. Right. Just a tiny little bit of left to right movement there. And we get a birdie. Nice one. Takes us to minus six. 
Okay, on to the 18th, I think. Yep. Okay, par five. Let's see if we can do a bit of damage here. Ooh, loads of space down here, but it's going to be quite tough to get to the green, as you can see. Got bunkers on the left-hand side. So I think we will aim down here. So a better angle of attack into the green from over this. Oh, that should be good. That should kick off of there. Oh, don't kick too bloody far though. Okay, pull up, pull up. Ah, that'll do. But can we reach the green too? No, I think we're going to be a bit short. But if we do hit this sort of side hill here, it can probably roll down onto the green. Okay, we've got the perfect 102% as well. It should be close to the green. It's going to roll a little bit down here to the left. Oh, it's going to make it. Okay, it's just made it onto the green. All right, I want to take a quick screenshot here. For the thumbnail, as I always say, you've got to have a nice looking thumbnail for the video. Let's turn the putting grid off. There we go. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, got some really lovely colours on this course. Let's get the car park out of it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's see from the other side. You've got the little houses there and you've got the little clubhouse up there as well. Yeah, it looks nice. I'll take a couple. Then I can choose. That'll do it. Right, let's put the old... Oh, what am I doing? Wrong button. That, then there. There we go. Oh, look at this. Left to right, then right to left. Right, well, we've got 57 feet and one foot up. Oh, I don't know if I moved out a little bit. I think I'm going to have to go left, actually. Ooh, I'll tell you what, not a bad effort from there. Oh, it's gone a little bit too far though. Might even screw up our birdie attempt here. Come on. Is it turning? Is it turning? Is it? Oh, just lipped it. Son of a... Right, there you go. That was quite nice. Nice course. Like the colours, like the planting. Very nice layout of the course as well. And that is Rosa Ragoza, Dunes and Mine. And that is the Rookie Design Contest entry from Brave Caleb. Give it a play, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Don't forget, stay safe.